Mr. Ali, won't you speak to Muslim media, Mr. Ali? Is my party a genocide? Silence won't do, Mr. Ali. There's a genocide in Gaza. Muslims want answers, Mr. Ali. Why should they vote for a party of genocide to support genocide? Mr. Ali, running away and hiding won't convince Muslims to vote Labour, Mr. Ali. He won't speak to Muslim media at a time when clearly Muslims are boycotting Labour in huge numbers. I mean, how serious is this guy? Hey, got it, still got it. People will be cheering you all over the world especially in Kashmir, especially in Palestine. So we're driving up to Rochdale now where there is a by-election uh, about to take place at the end of this month and it provides the first opportunity for local Muslims to throw a spanner in the works and basically try to unseat or to basically punish Labour at the ballot box over their appalling stance on Gaza and Palestine. Muslims have been getting incredibly angry with Labour for a number of years now, but the situation in Gaza and the stance that the leader of the party, among other MPs, have taken over what's going on there and the genocide that's unfolding and their lack of willingness to, at the very least, call for a, a total ceasefire has sparked what many have described as a rebellion taking place where Muslims are boycotting and voting, planning to vote against Labour in large numbers. Rochdale, of course, has a significant Muslim community there and it's believed by many, including uh, George Galloway, that that vote can be uh, used to basically take over this vital seat and we're going to see potentially for the first time how effective Muslims could be when voting against the traditional uh, party of Muslim votes, which has been the Labour Party. We're hoping to not only see George Galloway in Rochdale, but we're also going to reach out to try and speak to the Labour candidate, Azhar Ali, who is uh, a, a, a Muslim with a, a questionable background, things we've reported on for Five Pillars. So let's, uh, let's wait and see how we get on in Rochdale. So I think the, the Muslim community in Rochdale, but also uh, nationwide, uh, feels betrayed, I think, by the Labour Party in general uh, because of the position and stance that it's taken in relation to this latest uh, Israel-Gaza war. Um, Muslims for uh, generations have voted Labour in this town. And 15 of the 60 councillors, so that's 25% of the full council, is um, uh, Muslim Labour um, representatives. but. We don't feel like we've got a voice. Uh, a lot of Muslims don't feel like they have a voice at the moment in the Labour Party. Uh, so there are a lot of people who are moving away from Labour and looking at our alternatives. Now, this by-election is interesting because of the number of candidates that are um, that have put themselves up for election. Um, I don't think we have a perfect candidate in Rochdale. Um, so people are having to take a view on who they feel most represents their views and particularly their views when it comes to uh, the Gaza situation at the moment. Thomas Bumchung. You know this guy's leader? Your murderers will. Your murderers, that's what you are. They say maybe people listen to free pal. Well, I mean, it's interesting because you have the Labour candidate walking into restaurants and takeaways and being um, heckled at, um, if I can put it politely, and you have another candidate walking into the same venues and being hugged. Um, and being cheered and I think that really sums up um, a lot of the sentiment that is currently within the, the Muslim voter base in Rochdale. George, uh, thanks for sitting with us. It's a pleasure to see you again up here in Rochdale. Uh, just tell me how are things going so far? How have you been received? Well, there's three weeks to go at the point of recording this and the entire Bradford West by-election took place in three weeks. So I think you can say we've made we're starting from a much higher base than we started with in the by-election victory there. So the answer would have to be good. Uh, it can be measured by the length of the faces uh, in the Labour camp, can be measured by the Labour camp asking Keir Starmer not to come to Rochdale, which would be a first for the leader of the opposition not to actually come to a by-election, showing what a liability Starmer is. Uh, amongst a substantial section of traditional Labour voters. It can be measured by the dramatic turn in the last 24 hours of the Labour campaign away from seeking to compete with us on issues like Gaza, 
Islamophobia and so on. The Labour candidate's latest video mentions just about everything in the world except Gaza and except discrimination and uh, bigotry against Muslims. He's dropped that. Uh, he has uh, made a turn because the people have rejected him in the areas that he might have traditionally expected uh, support from and maybe that was the intended reason uh, for choosing him as the candidate. Obviously the Labour Party it's been reported that they're in big trouble in terms of Muslim outrage over their stance on Gaza. Uh, how have you found it? Do you think Labour are in as serious trouble as it's being reported particularly here in Rochdale? They're in very serious trouble. Uh, I know that none of your viewers are betting men and women but uh, you can measure it by the bookmakers. Uh, they were offering odds of 16 to 1 against my victory on Friday and by Tuesday it was 2 to 1. And that's probably an accurate. Bookies are, they never lose. So uh, they are uh, probably judging that right. Uh, in other words, uh, there's a real fighting chance of Labour losing this election and if they lose it, it, it can only be to me. None of the other parties are uh, at the races. The uh, situation in Gaza has changed all utterly. Uh, in When we fought Batley and Spend, we were fighting on a dump starmer uh, platform because of his statement, which he made, nobody forced him to make it, that he supported Zionism without qualification supported Israel without qualification. That's a big statement, that. I mean, who who else, what else does anyone support without qualification? Oh, only religion, really. Uh, you, don't, you don't support a person or a cause without qualification, but he does. Uh, so, if you like, it was more, I don't know what the right word is, generic or uh, non-specific. But now we're in the middle of a genocide. Uh, and so if he was telling the truth before, he supports it without qualification. So all the things he's said and done, like uh, whipping his MPs against a ceasefire, only a few weeks ago after thousands of people were already dead, uh, they're coming back to haunt him now. And so I think the genocide in Gaza has sharpened the focus of people in this constituency, mainly Muslims, but not by all, by no means all Muslims. There are many non-Muslim Rochdaleans who completely oppose what's happening in Gaza right now. So I would say the difference between Batley and Spen is the G word, Gaza. One of the things which I want to ask you about, George, is uh, the concern that some of our readership, some prominent Muslim figures have expressed over you running here, uh, particularly over positions you've expressed in the past regarding Syria and China. Uh, do you want to respond to your Muslim critics? The response would be that this is an emergency, uh, that Gaza has to be everybody's priority, and striking a blow in defense of Gaza should, and I hope will, certainly has so far. I mean, I've had people come to me uh, and raise these questions uh, and I think I persuaded them that in this emergency let's leave that for another day. If ever there was an issue that should be if you like kicked down the kicked down the road not into the long grass but kicked down the road until we get this uh, absolute crisis in Gaza out of the way I, I would argue that is it. There may be some who simply cannot vote for me because of the difference that we have over China. Uh, and I respect that. Uh, but I would hope that people would conclude. I mean, nobody's being asked to sign in their blood how much they love me. They're only being asked to put an X on a piece of paper to deal a blow uh, in defense of Gaza. I would hope most people would, uh, would do the right thing in those circumstances. Go on, Imrosh, and tell us what you're doing here. Well, we can't we can't get an interview with um, Azhar Ali, so we thought we'd come to Labour Party headquarters in Rochdale 
in the hope that you know he might come out at some point. So I think he's in there at the moment, uh, conferring and maybe he's having some food or whatever. So uh, we're hoping that he'll come out and maybe we can pose a few questions to him on behalf of the Muslim community. Mr. Ali? Ali? I'm, I'm Roshan from Thai Pillars. Can you get a word? Uh, uh, you've got to go through um, the party. We'll, ne we'll, never get, so. we'll, ne we'll never get a chance. Mm. Basically, basically, we want to know why you should vote for you. Why should you vote for you? Do you still believe in the prevent strategy? Should Keir Starmer step down? Won't you speak to Muslim media, Mr. Ali? Is Labour Party a genocide? Silence won't do, Mr. Ali. There's a genocide in Gaza. Muslims want answers, Mr. Ali. Why won't you answer us, Mr. Ali? Why won't you Why speak you to you Muslim mind? media, Mr. Ali? There's mind? a genocide, Mr. Ali. How can you justify being with a party which is complicit in genocide? How can you justify being Why should in a party Muslims which is complicit for you? in the genocide of Muslims in Gaza? Mr. Ali, Muslims want answers, Mr. Ali. Why should they vote for a party of genocide that supports genocide? Mr. Ali, running away and hiding won't convince Muslims to vote Labour, Mr. Ali. Muslims want answers, Mr. Ali. What do you reckon, what do you reckon Robert? He wouldn't you. answer your questions. Didn't want to speak to us. I mean, uh, we emailed ahead actually five pillars so he knows that we've been wanting to communicate with him. Uh, and now that he's seen us straight away, he didn't want to speak to us. And I think that that's very telling the fact that uh, he won't speak to Muslim media at a time when clearly Muslims are boycotting Labour in huge numbers. I mean, how serious is this guy? How serious is he about? I mean, how can he stand for a party which is complicit in the crimes in Gaza? And he has no answer for that. So if the leader of the Labour Party can't come here, why would anyone vote for his party? He can't come here because he has supported the crimes in Gaza. He supports Israel in his own words without qualification. These are very important words. That means whatever they do, he'll continue to support them. All right, brother, who are you going to vote for this election? I think jo George Galloway is good. Yeah, I think he's going to definitely do a good job for the community and for Palestine in general. Because Labour, they're just lacking, to be honest with you. They're not doing a good job whatsoever, so I think George Galloway is going to definitely have it for us. Who are you going to vote for this election and why? I think I and everybody's going to vote for George Galloway, that anybody with a conscience, anybody with a heart, anybody that's seen the pictures of the massacre that's happening in Gaza, uh, they're coming out every day, even still. I think any any people that believe in humanity will vote for uh, George Galloway. I think Labour candidate uh, is a bit of an Uncle Tom, uh, and I think he's. Uh, uh, it reminds me of the saying: all the trees were voting for the axe because they thought it was one of them because the handle was made of wood, and one by one they were getting chopped down. I think he's just a implanted uh, imposter, uh, improvising to. To, to, to show the Muslim is one of them, but yet yeah, it's, just, it's just a sellout. After spending a couple of days here in Rochdale hanging out with local Muslims, I think it's clear to see that a shiver has been sent racing down the spine of Labour's candidate here, and it probably has less to do with the cold temperature, more to do with the fact that George Galloway is uh, kind of galvanising the Muslim anger here against Labour to uh, put up an effective campaign as it seems. The question here is, will George Galloway secure enough Muslim votes to secure a complete win? Or will Azhar Ali, who according to local Muslims we've spoken to and we know on good authority has basically given up trying to canvass personally in Muslim majority areas because he basically gets heckled wherever he goes here. Will he be able to, say, secure enough of the white vote here to uh, maintain Labour's hold over Rochdale? That is the big question, which we'll have to see how that will be answered. But clearly Muslims here in Rochdale are bitterly angry at Labour and the mood among Muslims in Rochdale is very much against Labour. How can they punish Labour for their stance on Gaza? That is the question. Will it be a vote for George Galloway? Will it be uh, not voting at all? That's what we'll have to wait and see on by-election day.